Hello, this is Woody Adams here, and thanks for watching this short video on a particular report that really isn't in QuickBooks Online, but it is in the desktop, and I'm talking about the item profitability report. However, just learned from a friend of mine, Laura Redmond, that you can actually create this report drilling down on a profit and loss. Okay, so if you wanted to you know, see what items are most profitable, let's say for this year to date, let's go look at that. So I went to reports, and I'm in all reports, or I'm sorry, business overview. And you also find a P&L on your account and report section too. And you click customize. And that'll bring up, you know, a shell of the report behind and then the customize window. And now what we can do is I'm going to do this year to date. Keep it on accrual and columns by products and services. So that'll show all the kind of items. It'll really almost be like an item-based report. And I'll be looking at also the percent of row to show that between revenue and, and cost of goods sold. And then products and services uh, sometimes you can choose specified uh, I'm just gonna leave it to all or you can select multiple but I'm just gonna do all so you can see uh, what it will really do I'm gonna click run report and the columns will be for all my items right and be careful because it even show this is one of the reports just happens to show inactive items or deleted items too so I have my revenue and expense here on the left and then I have you know the items going across on the top. So for example, accounting consulting is 46.25% of the service revenue and 57.77% of consulting revenue. So the books for resale has a little bit, 42.91% in the sales of products and income, uh, nothing for the inactive accounts. And then computer consultant has some field tools, not much. You can really see, you know, what are my most profitable items or products and services using that particular profit and loss account. And then uh, report, excuse me, when I go all the way at the end, I have total and then the percent of row. Now, not specified is probably items on journal entries. So if I drill down on this 8,000 under not specified, uh, I'm going to see journal entries essentially uh, leading to that for whatever reason the item wasn't specified. And if the not specified column kind of irks you like it does me, let's go get rid of it. What I learned when I go to customize and go back to lists, which is really, again, the filters tab for, you know, that equates to filters tab when you customize desktop reports. And I want to go to product and service and I'm going to select multiple or I could do specify, but I'm going to do um, select multiple and I know which ones I sell the most. So I'm just going to control click the ones that I do. Let's see here, speaking, class fee, typically it's just class fee, telephone support. So I can add all of these, and then again, I have my column set to products and services this year to date. It's on a cruel basis, and I have my percent of row, and that should make the report, you know, with less columns. Click run report, much better. So less columns, and then I, I know based on running a sales by products and service detail report. I have just the columns I need, the total, and then the percent of the row. So I can really see, well, what is my most profitable product and service that I sell, quote unquote, item that I sell.